Women's March returns to Kern County on Saturday and in honor of the event. This week, 17 Stab the Mills shares stories highlighting phenomenal women in our community. Yeah, this one could bring you chills. She begins this morning honoring Cornelia Hano, who lived in Amsterdam during World War II, just steps from where Anne Frank and her family hid. That's right. Good morning, uh, Maddie and Alex. For years, she hid it away, and she didn't want to remember those years of her life, and that's understandable, mm -hmm. completely understandable. But now she's sharing her story. I was born in Amsterdam um, in 1923 on April the 30th. Cornelia Margarita Hano, or Connie as she's called, was born in Amsterdam. She was 17 when World War II broke out. I never wanted to talk about it a long time after the war. And then I thought maybe it should be told. When Germany occupied the Netherlands, Connie felt a great responsibility. I was old for my age, daring. I did not, uh, I wasn't afraid. I wanted to do everything to get my family through the war. Even if it meant bending her morals. You don't think of the consequences. I was a different person then. I had to be hard. Without gas, electricity, and food. You had to steal to keep your family alive and not think of it, it wasn't very good. Daily, she would say, We make it. We make it. The Lord is with us. Even on the darkest of days, when Nazi soldiers showed their authority, they would die. They, I, I saw them die. Connie says, she and her family were cautious, but not afraid. The underground, of which my brother was a member, blew up the town hall to destroy all the names of the Jewish people. That was resistance, and they hated that. And Frank and her family hid right down the street. Down the canal, on the other side of the canal. I almost could look at it. She never met Frank, but remembers well the times Jewish families were ripped from hiding. Hitler was a coward. A day she will never forget, the day the war ended. I said, hooray, hooray, we are free. Her teenage years, not spent with her friends at the soda shop or at the movies with a boy. Instead, her formative years were spent in war. But you had to go through it. Yeah. But we made it. We made it. And recently a fire took the only thing that Connie kept all of these years that reminded her of the war, a positive moment in the war, if you will. When Canadian soldiers came in uh, to free Amsterdam, they handed out cigarettes and candy bars. And she kept the wrappers to those for all these years. And it's something that may seem insignificant to us, but it was really important to her. Yeah, oh, absolutely, sure. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, what an amazing Incredible story. story. Thanks, Tab. Mm -hmm. well,